Oh. We're here in Kentucky. Recent enrollment statistics from Asbury University show that this is the largest incoming class the university has had in 25 years. We talked to school leaders today who say February's revival encouraged some students to enroll. WKYT's Lucy Bryson talked with administrators. Less than six months ago, a spontaneous Christian outpouring attracted over 50,000 people from around the world to right here at Hughes Auditorium. It began spontaneously when one of the university's mandatory chapel services extended beyond its usual 50 minute time period. Back in February, um, we had what we describe as an outpouring. Chapel really never ended is, is kind of the fun way to say it. The revival continued for two weeks straight, attracting people from everywhere. There was someone who came from Japan and same thing. All the Japanese churches are talking about this. They want to know what's happening. After the visitors left, there was an influx of applications coming to the university. Communications director Abby Lobb says many listed the revival as a reason for applying. This did increase interest. I know it increased interest like in people just wanting more information because like I said, we were not on many people's radars because we're so small. She shared that before the outpouring, enrollment numbers were already up 40 percent. But many students have shared that seeing what was happening at Asbury in February solidified their decision. Students who were already looking for a Christian university and they've told us this. They were already looking for a Christian school. Asbury, maybe, maybe they had heard of it, maybe not. And that did really turn some of their heads afterward. They've also spoken with transfer students as well. So some of them did transfer here because of that, which is, is so encouraging. That just tells us that you know, we're staying true to our values that we've held since 1890. The growth in the student body isn't just in in-person classes. It also extends over into online and master's courses, where she says they've also seen an increase in enrollment. In Wilmore, Lucy Bryson, WKYT.